Uber driver remains hospitalized tonight in critical condition after he was shot by his passenger during a ride on Friday. The family of Daniel Piedra Garcia is angry and calling for justice. It's a story you'll see only on KTSM. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap spoke with Piedra Garcia's wife and niece. Shelby is standing by live outside University Medical Center. Shelby. Estella, Daniel Piedra Garcia, that Uber driver, as you mentioned, is here at UMC in critical condition after he was shot on US 54 by a woman that he was driving. Now, police say that woman was from Kentucky, and she thought at one point during the trip that Piedra was taking her to Mexico. Now, I spoke with his family about the shooting. Because I know that people are also saying that there was a language barrier. There was not a language barrier. My uncle spoke English. Here you can see photos of 52 year old Daniel Piedra Garcia. Police say he was shot on US 54 South at Loop 375 exit by 48 year old Phoebe Copas from Kentucky. Now, police say Piedra was driving her from the west side to the lower valley, and police say at some point Copas thought she was being taken to Mexico and shot Piedra. But police have said that the investigation does not support that a kidnapping took place or that Piedra was veering from Copas destination. Now, the wife of Piedra, emotional, speaking about her husband, describing him as a hardworking man. 29 years of marriage and he would always worry for us, provide for us, for him and I. His wife says he went to work for Uber about a month ago. We reached out to Uber and they sent us a statement reading a part quote. We are horrified by the rider's actions. Violence is not tolerated on Uber platform and we banned the rider as soon as we were made aware of what occurred. Our thoughts are with Mr. Garcia and his loved one. Now Phoebe Copas was booked into the El Paso County Detention Facility charged with aggravated assault causing bodily injury. Estella, back to you. Okay, Shelby, thank you very much. And we know Daniel Piedra is incredible of condition but did the family tell us any more about how he's actually doing do you know they did tell us many family members were here. I would say over 10 people actually were here outside of University Medical Center. They said that they were up there with Daniel Piedras today, and they did say that doctors told him them that he was brain dead, and they are now just hoping for a miracle. Okay, Shelby, thank you, and our prayers with the family.